We have just made it to Moab, Utah. This will be our home base as we explore two of Utah's incredible national parks, Arches and Canyonland. And along the way, we will test our family's travel prowessness as we try to keep this 30-day road trip under our $10,000 budget. Good morning, guys. It is a glorious morning here in Moab, Utah, and we are going down to Arches today. We got a great night's sleep in our camper last night, and uh, I am excited to go to this national park. This is probably another one of those ones that I've been wanting to go to for a long time, and we finally get to do it. You ready to go to a national park? Yeah, I want to go to park. 7.24. We're four minutes late. All right, so our plan for today is to go hiking at Arches, have a lunch, what else? So this park costs $30 to get in. We've got our National Park Pass here. The fourth grader, every kid in a park pass. Hi. You got a fourth grader back there? All the way in the back. Would you like Mac? Yes. yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. That's how you get in free with a fourth grader. Thanks, Amelia. You're welcome. And next year, you're gonna say thanks to me. That's right. So that's right, here's the visitor center. And we're taking this road all the way up to Delicate Arch. I'm gonna do this little hike right here. And the Delicate Arch lot is full. <laughs> it's also a very difficult trail, apparently. Not even going looking the lot. That thing looks full. Law enforcement's coming. Oh. All right. They're gonna get towed. They're gonna get ticketed. Yeah. I'm gonna get ticketed. So the ranger just told us that law enforcement is coming for all of the people who are parked on the road here and not in the lot. This is ridiculous. <sighs> There's no park. And we got here at 7:45 in the park. Here at the lot at 8:15, and it is full. I guess some people take the risk of take getting a ticket. But I mean, what if it's like $300? Like right. It's not worth it. So we're moving on. Where are we gonna go? I guess let's go to the Sand Dune Arch. Actually, Sand Dune Arch, you can also take the trail to Broken Arch. So let's go do that. Why is there a sign that has a man hula hooping? What is that? Yeah. <laughs> what is that? I think it means that you have to bring your hula hoop if you're gonna park here. So strange. <laughs> have you any of you guys ever seen a sign like that before? That's hilarious. Oh yeah, there is some tape on there. That's funny. All right, Gabby's. We got parking. Let's go find some arches. This is the sand dune and broken arch trail. I made it. You made it. Made it to the top. You got it. Oh boy. Made it, made it. Ta da! You did it. So, Krista got some of these band aids for blisters. They seem to be working well. They work today. So yeah. Blister on my toe. Put that in my back. We're gonna do sand dune arch. Then we'll probably go back and do broken arch. Oh, this is cool. Is this cool? Can Beckett fit? Does Beckett fit? <laughs> Whoa! What do you think about this? Yeah, let's get a picture of me and you. It's like walking on a beach, huh? Wow! A tunnel! Look at that! You are a robot. Okay! That is super cool. Look at that. It's so big. You can get all the way underneath it. Hello. Hey. Is this cool? Mm -hmm. Sand dune arch. You got a spider ram it. If you don't feel comfortable, you get down. There you go. Careful. Look, you want to take a picture up here? Sure. You can crawl or walk. Whatever you feel comfortable with. Okay, now look. At a certain point, you gotta step up onto this big rock. You think you can do that? It's gonna be tough. So you might be able to get a little bit more leverage. Put, yeah, that foot there. Now kick up your other foot. 
Can't do it? Uh-huh. Just take your time. You don't have to go fast. Find something to grab on. Pull yourself. Oh. Wait. No? Yeah. You can do it. Go on up. Get your feet on there. Oh, I hear mom. She's coming. You just grab the rock like this I and push it. up. Do a push up. I need to get up there. I need to. I cannot fall. I'm going to get up there. Go, 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 pull. Dad. What? This is not even that far. <laughs> you can do it. I know you can. That's a pressure on me. There's no pressure. You don't have to do it. If you want to go that way, you can. I just don't think you can get out that way. Starting all over. Foot right there. Foot right there. Go. And what's the worst that can happen? In my head, my brain won't work. Okay. <laughs> my brain won't work. <laughs> Ready, set, go. <laughs> <laughs> How do you get up here? Uh, How do you get up here? <laughs> you can do it. No, I can't. Yes, you can. There you go, you got it. Now push. Oh, can I help you? <laughs> no, you, can, you want her help? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's heavy. Okay. <laughs> yep. You have to use your leg. You have to let go of that foot. That's right. <laughs> it can't stay there. Ready? Set. You gotta let go. <laughs> you can do it. What's your name? Amelia. Amelia, you got this girly, okay? okay. Okay. You ready? Okay. Set. Yeah. You gotta push with this foot. Let go of that one. Two, one, two, three. Go! go. go. Yes. <laughs> you did it! Yay! Awesome. Awesome. Nice to meet you, sweetheart. Thank you. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah? yeah. Maybe we'll go down an easier you way. You help dad, you got it? <laughs> I think I got it. <laughs> Thank you though. Yeah, well, you're like... I let my foot go, that's what I did. <laughs> you can stand up right here. Watch your cracks. Be careful where you're stepping. Is this cool? You made it. But I'm proud of you, you did it. Yeah. You did it. You made it. Sometimes you need someone to come along and give you a little help. Yeah. Okay. All right, you have to take this foot, you feel this foot, and you're putting it right here. That's it. Problem is that you haven't even tried this foot yet. I'm right here to catch you. Blah, blah, blah. See, look. <laughs> look how easy that was. I said blah, blah, blah. Every time I'm going to say blah, blah, blah. You probably need to get back down to mom. You want me to go first so I can be down there for you? Okay. Watch how I do it so that you understand how I go. Okay? You just have to take your time. Okay, I'm right here too. Kinda narrow, but we can try. If you, want to, no. you can get your butt right there. Okay, now you need to bring this foot back. So you can grab onto the rock up here. Come on. Grab on to me. Look at you. Look at you. It wasn't even that far, was it? <laughs> you did it. What, crying? <laughs> no. That's okay. You carry oh, me. Oh, me carrying you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, I'm proud of you for conquering your fears and doing that. Thank you. That was amazing. You know what? You pushed me too. Because sometimes it's hard for me to do things like this, but I want to show that I'm brave to you. And so I do them with you. Did you know that? That was scary for me coming up here, but I didn't show it because I needed to be brave for you. <laughs> right? You did it. And the other lesson here is that it's always okay to get help from other people, right? You just have to ask, right? Just like how Miss Eva helped you and then I helped you. You did great. I'm proud of you. Okay. All right, let's go this way. Hey! <laughs> You need to go first? Okay, I'll go first. Slide. You're okay. You're okay. I got you. I have you. <laughs> Was that easier than you thought? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta go down this. You did it? You did fantastic. 
That's right. I'm proud of you. I'm so <laughs> proud of you. More things up there. That's right. Hear people cheering for you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you were strong. You were brave. <laughs> right? You did it. All right. Let's go uh, pack and move on. Yep. Want to go to another arch? It's a Jacques challenge. <laughs> Down to there. There you go. I got it. Got it? I it. Good job. Look at you. You did it. Uh-huh. I knew you could do it. Yeah? Should I take your picture on the rock? Stand up. You conquered your rock. You gonna jump down into the sand? Light on down. You're almost there. You're like a foot away. Got it? All right, Becky, look here. Cheese. Hey guys, we are almost at Broken Arch. This way. We needed a good leader. And you are the perfect person. As long as you don't fall. <laughs> I know. You do like steep hills. Don't walk on top, but the trail continues through the arch. You can go underneath it. That's cool. Does it look broken? Maybe it's because some of the big boulders below have broken from it. Is that kind of cool? Yeah. Yeah. So the trail comes around the arch. We decided to come and check out the other side of it just to see what it looks like from the other side. So, man, it's bigger than I thought. Can't even see it yet. That's the arch right there. Bigger than I expected coming around. Figured we could, might be faster to climb up. <laughs> Everyone okay? Yes, you can go back around if you want. Go back down to mom. You did a lot of climbing today. Whoa. Whoa. Is that cool? All right guys, we're down at the visitor center. We wanna go get our sticker, our passport stamp, and a junior ranger book. Hopefully they just give us the badge with the book since COVID and all that, and we don't have to come back after she finished it. Let's see, we are at Arches, and that is in Utah, and that, all right. Just down, don't have to wiggle it. That's good. Perfect. I did upside down. That's all right. And today is 102. Can I get the Ranger book? Absolutely. Oh, wow. Would you like a Junior Ranger book as well? Yeah. <laughs> and I have two badges for you as well. That I'll give to you. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Appreciate it. Oh, great to uh -huh. have you. Let's get a sticker. Let's go get a sticker. There's Beckett. Hi. There you go. Now we can see you. And look, you put a smudge on it, so now I'm all blurry. You see how you touched it and I'm all blurry? <laughs> These two stickers cost six dollars and thirty-nine cents. You like them? Yep. We got one for arches, one for Moab. So this is the fiery furnace overlook, and apparently whenever there's a sunrise or a sunset, it looks like all the rocks are on fire. We're here in the middle of the day, so it'll just be a, a furnace without the fire. <laughs> so is it like the landscape that lights up, or is it this? It's a ton of like slot canyons and hoodoos and. And it would be fun to hike through the, the slot canyons and whatnot so the kids didn't want to come to this overlook. So whenever we get back in the car, we're going to make it sound like something amazing happened. <laughs> oh my gosh. That was so I awesome. I cannot even believe that you guys just missed that. That was incredible. That was an amazing thing. Oh my what? God. I can't even describe it. Mom, you're joking. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Amelia's pretty smart. <laughs> the canyons that people have hiked in through. I know, I knew that, uh, I knew that. This is Panorama Viewpoint. So I had to get out and check it out. Looks like a nice spot. You can see all the way. Yeah, it's the fiery furnace, I think. Well, I don't know, we drove pretty far from the fiery furnace. No, so there was a big salt down. Uh-huh. And then the salt dissolved. Uh-huh. And this collapsed. Oh, that's cool. And that's what that is right there. All right guys, we are going back to our camper and we still need to figure out dinner. I'm not too sure what we're doing tonight, so stay tuned. You're cooking, yeah, I know that, but if we're doing anything else. So we woke up to some wind and it looks like it's creating a dust storm. It is dusty out there. Click that video to continue the adventure with us.